Virgil, you're the marine product specialist here at ICOM to introduce us to ICOM's new baby, the ICM 330 GE. That's right, the M330 GE uh, is going to be a successor to the M323G, uh, very similar in specification, um, but we've made it much smaller. I noticed that. I'm not the most technical person in the world, but straight away you can see it's quite a lot smaller. What's the advantage of that? Uh, the advantage mainly is for ease of installation. Um, there's more and more electronics on boats these days and space is often a premium. Operationally though, are the two radios pretty much the same? Almost identical, yes. Yeah, the, the ICOM common user interface uh, across our range of DSC radios is the same. Uh, so if you know how to work one, you'll know how to work the other. Power output the same? Yes, 25 watts output, switchable, 25 and 1 watt, both, both exactly the same there. So we've cleaned up the display, so when you're changing channel here, uh, the rest of the information is removed from the display just while you're flicking through, especially when uh, there's a lot of motion and vibration. Um, you can see quite clearly uh, without all the extra information around. And it's really useful as well that the ICOM display that you get tells you what the channels are for, so you haven't got to remember that. All that information is there. That's right, there are a lot of channels um, and it's just remembering what the, uh, the, the key channels that you're going to use are for. The all-important channel when you're out there on the water that you're monitoring or, or you want to be able to get to quickly, of course, is channel 16. It is, yes. So uh, the original mic gave you channel up and down and high low power. The, uh, the successor's mic uh, gives you the channel 16 button as well, so you can get straight. straight so we there. just press that and we're instantly on channel 16. And the other important difference between the two is the way the GPS works. The GPS is built in on this radio. That's right, yeah, the GPS receiver and antenna is built into the top edge of the front panel, which is, is fine for most installations, uh, but we have had uh, some people that have had to run an external GPS via NMEA to the radio um, because they're in a steel boat, an aluminium boat, um, and, and it doesn't pick up. Uh, so what we've done with the new radio uh, in reaction to that is, is give you this GPS that will fit on the back, um, and it gives you the option of mounting it uh, in, in a more practical location. Looking at it from this angle, Virgil, I've spotted another difference, and that's the depth of the two radios. Yes, yeah, uh, space is al always a premium, um, so the, the depth has been decreased as much as possible uh, to make it easier to install. Interesting to see how the ICOM range of radios is constantly evolving. It is, yes. Yeah, we try to uh, react to uh, the, the market needs as much as we can, um, and, and it's forever changing. So there we are, ICOM's new baby, the ICM330GE, is available now from all ICOM stockists. And of course, if you want to find out more about it, just go to the ICOM website.